Evening guys. It's actually almost 11.45 at night. Almost. Um, not really done a lot today. Not up here anyway. Not downstairs either. I've played Theme Hospital and I'm stuck on a level. I've made two Windows 10 discs right here. One's 32-bit, one's 64-bit. May not ever use the 32-bit, but you never know. Um, and to do that, you can go... If you just Google um, Windows 10 download, it's usually straight at the top of the um, search page. And it takes you to Microsoft's site, and it gives you the option to um, upgrade your PC now, or download a CD image. Or in this case, a DVD image. And you just click the down the um, thing to download the um, tool. Follow the um, instructions. Make sure you click um, burn or to make media to upgrade later. To upgrade with later, not upgrade your PC now. Um, and that'll download it. Create an ISO image. And then you can burn it then, there and then, or as you've got the ISO image, you can burn it whenever you like. And it does say that if you're going to upgrade from Windows 7, so if you're going to use the, as I assume from what it was saying, you can use the disk for both. If you're going to upgrade from Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1, you don't need a product key. If you're just going to do a fresh installed, you know, from a clean slate, so to speak, then you'll need a product key. And I'm guessing Microsoft will charge for that. I don't know. I'm just presuming. If anyone knows otherwise, please let me know. Um, not, that that, not that that matters, because uh, even if you had a cracked version of Windows 7, you could easily install that well, I think it'll work. We'll find out, because I've got a cracked version of Windows 7, so that'll be interesting. But in theory, you should be able to install Windows 7 and then upgrade straight away with Windows 10. So, um... That should be interesting. I've got a laptop over there that I need to find my 32-bit Windows 7 for get it going again, because I've lost it. I may actually run that through my software on that Windows 7 PC and try and uh, make a copy of it again, like I did the 64-bit. Um, finally got a video uploading to my LEGO channel after somehow it balls up and I must have dragged and dropped the wrong video file without realizing it so I'm just having I had to go and make the or edit the video up again because I didn't actually realize it was the wrong video until I'd uploaded it to the Lego channel but uh, it's uploading now the correct one Uh, the only other thing I've done is taken the um, hybrid Claude Butler down and had a test ride on that. And it's working. Um, it's definitely rideable, put it that way. There's an issue with the steering. It feels really weird when you steer. Like something else is trying to steer for you every now and again, as long as it's got a life of its bloody own. I've had bikes do that before and I've got a feeling it's in the um, headstock. The bearings in the headstock. Um, and they are a little bit loose, so if the weather's fine tomorrow I may go down and just uh, open up the headstock and uh, see what the condition of the bearings are like. Um, 
they could be worn, which it could be causing it, I don't know. Um, the only other tuning I've got to do is with the front gears, the chain rubs on the gear mech when it's in third gear or top gear at the front. Um, you've got top, middle, bottom at the front, usually. Uh, so it's more of an annoyance than anything else, just hearing the chain <laughs> against a bloody gear mech. Um, chain could do with a clean, really. It's a bit gritty, which probably doesn't help. It's been oiled so well, it's just full of crap. It needs a clean. So my, I don't have a proper chain cleaner device. Knew I should have got one when Lidl's had them in. But didn't think I'd need one. Okay, so next time Lidl's get them in, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> but as I don't have one, I'm gonna have to use an old rag or something and rub it down. And then just put some fresh oil on it. Um, the only other thing I need to do is change the pedals, because they're knackered. The left one is making a hell of a clickety clack, and you can feel it gr crunch and grind as well. Um, and the right one, it's on the way out. Not as bad as the left one, but it's on the way out. I've got a decent spare pair somewhere. I had them up here, but I've cleaned up since then, so they could be any bloody way now. <laughs> you know what I'm like when I clean up? I forget where I've put everything. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, it does ride the gear shift fine. And the brakes work frickin' well. Um, a bit too well. <laughs> I can actually lock the back wheel up without even trying. That is scary. Um, I've never had V-brakes, or I haven't had a bike with V-brakes that have been so sharp in a very long time. Um, the front one squeaks and if you do hit it hard enough and you didn't have all that extra weight on the back as in my saddlebags and baggage rack and whatnot you'd probably go over the handlebars or if you're lucky just do a stoppy <laughs> yeah they, I can definitely stop with those my lips keep going dry for some reason I hate that. Yes, I've had a bit of a slow day. I keep trying at Theme Hospital to get past this bloody level and I can't, I can't figure it out. Oh well, as they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Can't believe how smoothly it runs on that compact laptop. I never used to like compact. I had a couple of experiences about 2006 with some compact desktops that were just an utter pain in the frickin' arse but uh, maybe it was just me and being a noob at computers so to speak but uh, I have to say now about 10 years later that I'm actually more experienced know a lot more about what I'm doing with them I'm not you know Mr. Know-it-all but not when it comes to the software side, anyway. I know how to take one apart and put one back together and get it working, but... Programming? No. <laughs> Can't do that. Yeah, this old thing is um, still going strong. It's the first one I picked up off the shelf. Microsoft Windows NT and Windows 98. It was designed for with an Intel Pentium 3. Can't remember what the processor speed was on this one. Or what the memory is. Tell you what, let's boot it up. Just for the hell of it. Uh, yeah, I'm try and get these laptops done. If I can get that Toshiba actually working on Windows 7, I could actually upgrade that to Windows 10 for Mum. If. I can get the damn thing to actually play ball. I think it's the hard drive connector is a bit dodgy. I need to, oh, don't tell me, is that my Windows or is it Misty? No, it is Misty again. 
F you weather. Sold my little shopper for a fiver. I lost a fiver on that one because I originally paid ten pounds for that bike last year. So I've had I've actually had it about a year. Um, I didn't have a lot of choice really because <laughs> uh, it was in worse condition than when I bought it on the count of. Not one spoke had broken in the back wheel. Three. So it wouldn't have been worth me fixing that back wheel or replacing the spokes anyway. It needed a new back wheel. The spokes were knackered. I don't know how or why they'd become so weak, but well, the only other option I could have done if I kept it is just convert it to a single speed. Please tell me why I passworded this PC when I set it up. Because this was actually a non-working laptop when I first got it. Well, it turned on, but it had no operating system on it. And I've restored it. It's got a bit of bezel missing for the floppy disk drive, but it works. And it's already booted. This, I swear this thing boots faster than that flipping thing. And that is how many years newer? Almost 20 years newer? Okay, let's see if I remember. You go into settings on this one, don't you? Then control panel. I can hear the hard drive clicking. I actually love the sound of a clicking hard drive. Just says genuine Intel. Yeah, 128 megabytes of RAM. Mm, I can't remember if I can actually find out processor speed on this one or not. Pretty much know how to use one, and yes, I've got Firefox on this because it does go online. If I can be bothered to uh, hook up an Ethernet cable to it, granted, there's not a great deal this thing can do, but I have actually been on Facebook with it <laughs> just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I couldn't believe it actually worked. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go anywhere for a minute. Well, from now, because, uh, eh. Somewhere down here is the end I need. Here it is. Right. Plug you in. Good old mains cable. The other thing I did is not only took all the models off, cleaned them all up, and uh, cleaned all the shelf down, I've raised that outlet as well. Uh, so I can actually access it because it was behind the um, truck there. Which meant without moving all the models I couldn't get to at least two of the sockets. So uh, that's what I've done. <laughs> I've raised it so I can actually get to both sockets. It's not turned on at the minute. I've just got this habit of um, if one of these is switched and I'm not using it, turn it off because I don't need it on. It's only got these speakers plugged into it. So, and the light for that cabinet, so I only need it on as and when. It's a bit like that phone adapter there. I think I'm going to unplug that and plug it in over here so I can actually just flick the switch off on that one as well. And then you have that one on as and when I need it. It doesn't actually matter because nothing is actually on standby or anything anyway. Uh, the printer's not plugged in at the minute, so it's only the monitor and the computer. The only thing that is actually on is the phone. And that's only um, to charge it, so that's only when I've got the phone on the base. <laughs> Same with this. This is plugged in up that corner. But I don't know whether it would be easier to keep one socket free over there because I do lay things on that shelf. That might actually be easier. Come to think of it, I might. Like, yeah, I'll do it that way. I'll do it that way because this charger for this camera is plugged in up that corner. I haven't needed to use that socket for anything else, so I've just left it plugged in. 
Oh dear. Oh, it sounds like the music has actually stopped. I could hear some loud music. I think one of the pubs has had a gig on. Yeah, they don't normally go past midnight anyway, so it doesn't bother me. I don't usually go to bed till bollocks. I forgot to do that. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow now. Picked up my prescription. And uh, got it back here and found that uh, on the box missing. Oh, that's what I could, I could hear this cracking. Yeah, they gave me 28 glycoside, not 56, and I'm supposed to have 56. So, uh, let's see if I can sort that tomorrow. Considering I bloody forgot tonight, I was going to cycle down there and sort that. Well, I can almost get halfway across the room with that cable. I don't want to pull the power adapter off because that's going to put weight on the um, on the uh, jack on the camera. Processing done. So all I've got to do is add the title, click monetize, and add a few more tags to the list. And that is. I don't know how those tags are memorized. It only does it on my Lego channel. It'd be helpful if it did it on my um, main channel as well considering most of my uploads are pretty much based on the same sort of thing. <sighs> I suppose you want some grub in your dish, do you? What day is it? It's Friday, isn't it? What is that to say? Oh. It is as far back as it will go. I can't remember why that is... Um, Sitting a bit further forward than the others. I may experiment with that. I may go and get an Ethernet cable and actually just see what websites I go to that I could actually view on there. <laughs> just for the giggles. Um, I may film that tomorrow. I won't film it tonight. Right, well, I'm going to bugger off. Nearly 20 minutes of me just yam yammering on about my day. Some rubbish. It was a boring day. <coughs> well, Mum did phone me earlier while I was on the crapper. Great timing, Mum. <laughs> uh... I wanted her to do another night shift tonight and she refused. One was enough. You look a little bit blah. I was up early again today for some reason, I don't know why. Still got my power bank to charge as well. I haven't done that. It does say to charge it before use. Ugh. I actually don't know why this was put in the reduced bin. With a reduced sticker on it, you know, I paid um five ninety nine I think. Saved about a pound, but it's still a saving. Because I went in Lidl's today and I've got a bin full of these back. So I don't know if I've got them back in stock or something. It's got all the necessary stickies on the back here. And labels and... Micro USB. For charging micro USB devices. Whoops. Well, it's midnight, right? I'm gonna disappear. It won't be long before I retire to the bedroom. I don't know what ITV will put on tonight. 
Uh, I might fall asleep before then as well. And that translates to I might fall asleep before that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll um, talk to you all tomorrow. No plans yet, so we'll just go with the flow. Bye.